Yeah, it's exactly like that. You can import the SketchUp file inside of Blender with just one simple click. Let me show you how you can do that. Hello, my name is Augusto Cesar. If you don't know me, I work with architectural visualization. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you how you can import a SketchUp file inside of Blender with just one click using a simple add-on that you can find in the link on the description below. So, let's get started. So, the first thing you need to do is to download the add-on on your computer. So, just click the link in the description below, come here in the page you are seeing on my screen right now and click in sketchuporter.zip. You don't need to unzip, just save it on your computer. After that, you just need to come here to Blender, click Add Preference, and you need to come here to Add-ons, Install, and you need to find where you uh, download the add-on and install it on your computer. It's not necessary to unzip the file. After that, things are good to go. You just need to click the checkbox and done. So, how you can properly use that add-on? You can just select everything on your screen and, and do whatever you want, actually. So, in my case, I will just come here to File, Import, and you will be able to see that you now have the option to import directly a SketchUp file. So, you just click that and find where you save your file. In my case, I'm using this modern contemporary house that you can find on the SketchUp uh, official website, the 3D warehouse. I download the file and now I can just click that and I can click import. As soon as you do that, done. The file is imported on your computer. And no, I didn't cut the video so far. This is the how fast it works. It will be slower in bigger files, but anyway, it will work properly. I have just one quick tip for you. If for some random reason you click import, come here to SketchUp file, click on file, and after click import, nothing appears on your screen. I just uh, would like to tell you to increase this threshold for any random giant number. Just increase the size of this threshold here and click import and Normally, things will work very well if we increase that. And now, as you can see, everything is good to go. You can now change the materials, fix the topology, because, well, <laughs> working with SketchUp files is kind of a mess. But you can use that as a starting point for a great project inside of Blender, okay? What do you think about this tip? Did you like it? So if you like it, click the like and click in the subscribe button and the notification bell. So every time I post a new video about how to use Blender for architectural visualization, you will know that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in our next video. Bye. See you soon and take care.